is Rafiq Luzon, and you are tuned in to Nothing But That Sports Talk. This is Rafiq with Nothing But That Sports Talk. We are here at the Barclays Center for, uh, yeah, it's not just it's not just an ordinary day at the Barclays Center as USA Women's National Basketball Team came here for day one of training camp, and I'm here with the phenomenal Gigi Spear. Welcome back. Rafiq, I'm here with the phenomenal Rafiq. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me on this outside recap. Yeah, as you observed, the USA players actually working their way towards making a national team. What what what, what went through your mind and what are some pros and cons? Ooh, okay, well, I'm gonna tell people first what I heard, then I'll say what I saw, what I heard, a lot of talking on defense. And I think every coach, every player across the country is gonna relate to that. There was a lot of focus on defense from every single player. And then also echoing that sentiment, head coach told us, I asked her, what are the non-negotiables? She said defense that's what makes us different we know every player has great offensive presence a lot of options that they could do on offense she's going to let people do what they do on offense but she is pressuring and making sure people show up on defense what i saw was that definitely a focus on defense and what they were doing was they were scrimmaging each other they were scrimmaging the men's scout practice team and then they were switching out to who was on what team. So seeing that, I think it was, obviously it's great. You're seeing, that's the best part of the Olympics. You see like all these greats come together that are usually playing against each other. And then you see them come here, one practice in now. I saw a lot of effort, not that much efficient, efficiency on shots, but obviously that's something that's gonna come with chemistry. But a lot of smiles too is what I saw. They looked like they were having fun, Rafiq. Yeah. yeah, and I also saw that the players were having a tough time scoring on defense, but it's, it's all about working. On, it's, it feels more like they're working on play, become, becoming better defensive players than offensive players during day one of training camp. Yeah, and you know what, too? We got to keep in mind they're trying to make a roster, and I think every player knows that you have to stand out to a coach. The coaches know every player, and every player knows every player as well. There's not that many surprises. But if you show up with a certain presence on defense and in energy and with intang intangible elements of the game, you have a better likelihood of making that team. So I'm kind of not surprised that we saw more of a focus on that. Yeah, and, and also there was a lot of talk with Sabri Onescu, as, as you already heard. It's Stephen Curry versus Sabri Onescu in a one-on-one -on -one three-point shootout after Stephen Curry pretty much challenged her. And Sabrina Onescu talked about how she looked up to Stephen Curry as a player from since she was like 10 years old. And now, everything coming to fruition. You got, you got one of the best three-point shooters in the WNBA going up against the all-time three-point shooter in the NBA. Mm -hmm. What are your overall thoughts? And we think about what Sabrina Onescu said about it. Yeah, well, I am excited for this. I'm not surprised it's happening. And that's kind of what Sab was saying, too. She was saying after she had her dominant performance, WNBA All-Star Weekend, her and Steph talked. And that was news. We all knew that was happening. And I think what I saw from her is a dog who's ready to compete. I think it's going to be super fun to watch, and I can't wait to see. Do you want to see more WNBA versus NBA three-point shootouts in the future? And if you do, which, which NBA player would you want to see go up against a WNBA player? Oh, yeah. I mean, I would love to keep on seeing more crossover. I... I think you have to balance it a little bit because you want them to be separate, right? Like you want the WNBA to be what it is. It is a different game in how they, the style of play than the NBA. So, and plus there's two different focuses, two different fan bases. Of course there's crossover with all of those elements, but I think with a healthy level in moderation of crossover, it could be a very exciting thing. And who would I want to see compete? Okay. You know what I would want to see is like a battle of the bigs from the three-point line. Like, let's get some centers out there. Let's get Joel Embiid versus like a Stephanie Dolson or someone who can shoot the three ball, but that's not their primary job. I think that'd be fun to watch. Yeah, and how about this? Aliyah Boston going, going up against Giannis Antetokounmpo. You talk about a power battle of power forwards. I mean, I know Aliyah Boston, a national champion versus Giannis Antetokounmpo, won an NBA championship. How about that one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, that would be a crazy one-on-one. -on -one. Aaliyah, girl, you showed up today, and it was fun to watch her in Barclays at practice. She was out there competing, and Diana Taurasi even was like, man, I love that kid. I forget what she said. I, uh, I'll remember. I'll put it out there. But she loves Aaliyah, and that shows. And her versus Giannis, man, I would watch. I'd watch. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's that would be a pretty interesting good matchup. And one last question before I let you go for the day. Um, what, Diane Taranci got to speak to the media, and she gave some pretty good insights. It's not just from a player perspective, but being able to coexist with the players trying to make the team, and not to mention this is their first Olympic without Sue Bird. Mm, right, yeah, man. That was my first time meeting Diana. I'm so lucky. I'm so honored. I couldn't stop smiling, which, you know, I'll have it better on Sunday where I'm not as starstruck. But I think I was really surprised at her sense of humor. She's taking it lightly. And she said, man, the realest sentence I've heard, like, all year. She's like, I'm out here. What 40-year-old wants to keep playing basketball? I do. I love it. And then she pointed at all of us media and was like, well, that's why you do your job is you keep doing it because you love it. So I think that was beautiful perspective on the game where she really respects it. She's taking it lightly. Obviously, she's locking in and she was having fun out there, though. She was smiling. She was dishing out some crazy passes. And it was so nice to see it in person. Yeah, and I love the fact that the media, the players actually noticed the media recording it. Like there was a moment where when Chelsea Gray was working on her free throws, Asia Wilson noticed I recorded it. Oh my God! Really? That's so yeah. That was that, that was hilarious, but it was still a fun time at USA Training Camp today. It was so much fun. To ever figure you're, you're well recognized. I so appreciate you having me on. Always, I appreciate it. And you're making it work in the rain too.